guys. Uh, we'll try to go ahead and take the first question here. We'll start with Kyle. Frank, um, what do you know about what LeBron's going through and, and what's sort of the outlook for tomorrow and the week beyond? Yeah, well, he, he definitely has some swelling uh, from the ankle uh, ankle sprain, and uh, we'll list him as doubtful for tomorrow. And he stayed back from practice today to get treatment on it, and we listed as doubtful. Next, we'll go to BT. Uh, thanks for meeting with us, Frank. We really appreciate this. Of course. Um, any update on AD? Was he able to participate today in anything at all? Positive sign. Uh, he went through full practice, uh, did all of our, our drill work, and uh, did some live scrimmaging. You know, so, uh, you know, we're at a, a point now where it's, you know, it's, it's, it's really about how he responds to, to that, you know, and the level of, uh, of soreness he has, you know, coming out of his first live work. Uh, he'll also be listed as doubtful for tomorrow. Coach, um, from an outsider's perspective, and I know I'm just talking about basketball, nothing else, because there are obviously more than things that are important, but this season looks like it's been very, very challenging. All the seasons you've been in basketball, especially as a head coach, has this been your hardest? My hardest? Um, yeah. Yeah, I would say probably, you know, just because of, um, you know, the expectations that we have, we've had, um, you know, I've had too many, too many really difficult nights. And, um, you know, I think there's a, there's an element of, um, you know, being a, being a part of managing LeBron's legacy, you know, for these final years of his career, you know, and uh, you want to just give him the best opportunity to have team success, you know, throughout that. So, you know, when we haven't won uh, at the level that we wanted to, you know, it's been challenging and, uh, you know, the losses have been heavier, but, you know, our, our, our group is, uh, you know, we've been able to, you know, continue to, to mend and rebuild our, our team psyche and, uh, you know, keep a belief in, in what we can be. You know, obviously this last injury uh, hurts that, but, you know, we had a good day today. You know, we, we came in and uh, we got really positive uh, feedback and work on our film session, had a live practice, which we haven't had in, a, in quite some time. And, um, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, we can still you know, get a W tomorrow and finish strong. Thank you very much. Hey, Coach, I'm, I'm curious from your perspective as somebody who knows Jason Kidd as a friend and as somebody, you know, who's worked on staff with him, what is it about his personality or his just approach in coaching that's evolved over the years that's made him such a natural fit to coach Luca and to develop a, a good working relationship with Luca um, these last few months? Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure, you know, what what he was like as a coach prior to me working with him. You know, so in terms of how he's evolved, you know, I don't have that, uh, you know, that 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 uh, feedback from his early days as a coach. But, you know, with with regard to me, um, you know, he did a great job with us, uh, obviously bringing his, you know, he, he's got a genius level mind, you know, the game of basketball, you know, and um, he's not afraid to uh, to coach guys hard, you know, and give tough love. And I think we've you've, so, you've seen that with, uh, you know, his approach towards Luca. But, you know, he, he definitely has a genuineness to him as well, you know, and he, he cares for, uh, he, you know, at least the guys that, that we worked with together. I think you're seeing that um, with how he's coaching this Mavs team and you see how, how they're performing on the floor, you know. So, uh, obviously, he's doing a great job here. Thank you. Hey, Frank, uh, you mentioned today's film session. What was the focus of the film session? And, and how do you think the guys took kind of reviewing last night and, and just sort of what they took from it? Yeah, well, I think the biggest lesson to learn is, you know, we haven't played with a lot of leads this year. <laughs> but, you know, when you when you smack a team and, and I, I commended our guys for how we came out to start the game, you know, um, playoff mindset. Uh, brought the fight to our opponent, played with offensive swag and confidence. And, uh, you know, I think, um, you know, the lesson to learn is when you get a big lead against a good team, they're going to respond. They're going to come out fighting in the second half. And and we didn't handle the in-game adversity uh, very well. And, you know, obviously we had our, you know, our own adversity with bronze injury and, um, you know, and, and battling through that and, and seeing him tough it out there. Uh, 
but there was a, you know, a, offensively, uh, we didn't move the ball and play for each other as, as well as we did in the, in the uh, first half, uh, in the second half. And, um, you know, our defensive disposition and fight wasn't what it was. And the focus, quite frankly, wasn't, wasn't what it was, uh, you know, to start the game. So you got you to do it for 48 minutes. And especially when you get a lead, you got to anticipate that the team, the other team is going to come out fighting. And we didn't handle that well. Go to Dave on his connecting flight. Hey, Frank, uh, could you just comment on the the timing here where when you finally get Anthony back for a full practice, it's, just, it's the same time that you're losing LeBron to a new injury and, and just how that um, strikes you and, and the coaching staff is uh, something that it's kind of happened at other structures of the season. I remember Brooklyn, Anthony comes back, LeBron's out the next game. Yeah, it's been been that type of year. Uh, definitely snake bitten with trying to get those guys on the floor together. You know, I think it's seventeen or eighteen games or something like that for the for the season. And um, you know, it looks like it could potentially be uh, more than that now. Um, you know, so it's one of those things that's out of our control. It's it's uh, it's unfortunate. You know, but you know we have to lock in and. Um, you know, just to, again, you know, like we've done all season, you know, have to shift uh, our identity on the floor with uh, with regard to who's in and who's out. Kyle, do you have another question? I do. Um, I actually have two other questions. Um, hopefully, they're pretty quick. But uh, AD, um, you know, what what can you kind of see might already be there or might be early impact for him as he kind of gets used to, to playing again, and and what might take a little more time for him. No, he's got to get his legs under him. <clears throat> you know, that's the biggest thing. You know, when you have a foot injury like this, it's uh, it's not as easy to, you know, to, to do all your running and stay in shape as if you had a, a wrist injury or something like that. So, um, you know, that's definitely going to take time. And and because of that, you know, you have to be more cautious with uh, with the return to play, you know, because if you if you throw him out there and, um, you know, he doesn't have his wind, you know, then, then he becomes, uh, you know, the, the injury becomes compromised, you know, or you overcompensate in certain ways and you don't want that. So, um, you know, it's definitely going to be a, a stretch here, you know, um, when we get him back where he's still getting his legs under him. And then, you know, that you guys had that really competitive game against Philly last week. What sort of in your mind can, can be replicated if you're going without LeBron and AD tomorrow? Yeah, we fought like hell in that game and we're going to fight like hell tomorrow night. You know, um, the competitive spirit was uh, was really high. Uh, you know, the the defense in that game um, had too many breakdowns down the stretch. You know, and uh, the last couple of games, even the Cleveland game where we scored the ball offensively, you know, the the avenue for this team to turn the corner and to finish strong is going to come on the defensive end. And it wasn't there, you know, for the full forty eight last night uh, either. And uh, until that that switches, until we we get the full commitment that's necessary, you know, we're not going to turn this around, but, you know, we're going to continue to, to coach them hard and challenge them and, uh, you know, game plan and scheme up and do whatever we got to do to, uh, you know, to get that defense where it needs to be to, to start putting some wins together. We have time for a couple more. We'll go to Andy. Hey, Frank, uh, you talked after last night's game and also a little bit today about the team not reacting well in the second half to different things New Orleans was doing. When you go through – the film and and think about yourself as a coach. What what are the, the what's the criteria that you look at to try to decide whether you reacted well as a coach and, and like the way you sort of grade your own real time reactions and things like that. I grade myself on on everything every game and obviously harder when we lose. Um, how many guy how many minutes each guy played? Did I overplay guys? Did I underplay guys? You know, did we have the right schemes in place? Did we adjust well enough? You know, when, uh, when things were hurting us, um, what offensive uh, sets we were getting in and what kind of actions and what kind of uh, poor defenders are we, are we putting, you know, involving in, in the offensive attack. Um, I evaluate all of it. And, um, you know, I'm my own worst critic or biggest critic. And, um, you know, that's what it has to me, you know, led me to be a, a successful coach in this league. So, um, you know, these losses are hard. But... Uh, you know, the process is good and the process is healthy and strong, you know, for improvement and, you know, having a figured out mindset. 
Last question about Christos. Hello, coach. Hope you're doing well. Uh, where do you feel the confidence level of this team is right now and how confident you are that a win can change the whole momentum for you at this stage of the season? What was the second part of your question? I'm sorry. How confident you are that the win can change the whole momentum for you? Well, you know, I think the way we played in the first half and the way we fought, you know, in games where Braun was out uh, last week in, in Philly uh, gives us confidence that, that we can still uh, make something of this stretch run. You know, and uh, I am still confident in that, you know, and we'll continue to build our guys up, give them the plan of what needs to be executed and, uh, you know, have an expectation of, uh, of effort and, and focus, you know, that we've we've seen, you know, throughout some of the these recent games. So um, we are remaining confident. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, everybody. Okay. See you tomorrow.